morning listener this is part two of the video that we did that was number one to number ten today we are doing number eleven to number nineteen if you have not subscribed we request you to subscribe to this channel hit bell icon subscribe button and uh, the like button down there and we shall appreciate question number one name two african nationalists that one we answered Number 12, give the main reason why Arab Moy Band, we have answered that one also. Uh, why was the independent constitution of 1963 known as Manjibo Constitution? Because it was based on regio, regionalism. Because it was based on regionalism. Number 14, give the importance of Eliud Madhu in the history of Kenya give the importance of Eliud Madhu in the history of Kenya and his importance is for the first time an African represented the African Africans in the, in the Lenji Corps that is the Legislative Council give the importance of Eliud Madhu in the history of Kenya and that one is for the first time an african for the first time an african represented africans in lenjiko then we also learned about question number 11 name two african nationalist nationalistic parties that attended lancaster house conference kenya african national union kenya african democratic union African People's Party give the main reason why Daniel Moimbant ethnic organizations in 1979 this was to promote a unit in the country uh, we are moving on we request you to write a comment down there write answers if there is any answer we have not uh, stated here so that we can make it easy uh, for the learners to get uh, better grains in history and government we have the next the next question uh, uh, this one I think we have answered why was the independent constitution of 1963 known as Manjimbo constitution because it was based on regional regionalism regionalism number 14 give the importance of Eliud Madhu in Kenya in the history of Kenya for the first time an African represented Africans in Lenjiko question number 15 identify two arms of the county government identify two arms of the county government in Kenya we have number one county assembly that is one arm of the team as we said identify two arms of the county government in Kenya number one county assembly is an arm of the county government number two county executive committee that one is another arm of the county government question number 16 name two superior courts in kenya we have supreme court number two we have high court number three we have court of appeal so those are the two those are the three superior courts in Kenya question number 17 uh, state two major divisions of national police state two divisions two major divisions of the national police in Kenya we have number one administration administration police service then you have number two kenya police service 
I remember we said paper one, section A is very tricky. I'll appreciate question number one. Give two examples of electronic sources of information on the history of Kenya. We have number one, films. Number two, microfilms. Number three, radio. Number three, audio, visual. And number five, data bags and data bases. Question number two, state two ways in which the traditional African communities in Kenya passed information from one generation to another. In other words, they are asking you to write examples of oral tradition. That, that is one of the, the source of history and government. So here they have framed the question in another way. And uh, the question is the same, but the framing is different. So they are telling you to state ways in which traditional African communities in Kenya were passing information. Number one, legends. Number two, poems. Number three, proverbs. Number, number next, tongue twisters. Next, myth. Next, songs. Next, riddles. Uh, next, and the last one, folk tales. You can also call them narratives. Narratives. If there is any other example we have not mentioned, you can mention it in the comment section. Number three, identify two ways in which African communities interacted in pre-colonial Kenya migration. That is one of the way of interaction, the way they interacted. One way is migration. Number two is trade. Number three is warfare, when they were fighting. And number three is raiding activities. Then the last one, sports and games. This question is very common. You might find it in your exam. Identify two ways in which African communities interacted in pre-colonial Kenya. Migration, trade, warfare, raiding, sports, and games. If we have left any other point, you can uh, write on the comment section. Uh, remember we said we, we would like all of us to participate. Question number four, name the Supreme Council of, Council of Elders among the Ameru community. The Supreme Council of Elders among Ameru was Jorincheke. Question number five, name one early Christian missionary who worked in Kenya. Number one, we have Dr. Lord Wing, Kraft, we have Jacob, we have Thomas, we have the last one, John Rebman. Uh, question number six, state one reason why government may limit freedom of speech. State one reason why the government may limit freedom of speech. Number one, war propaganda. Number two, hate speech. Number three, incitement to violence. Then we have the last one, deformation. Deformation. If we have left any point or any answer, uh, you can write in the comment section. Remember we said we want everyone to participate so that uh, this one can be lively eh? and remember when you write an answer uh, that answer you will never forget we are at the middle of our video name the natural method of becoming kenyan citizen natural method of becoming kenyan citizen that one is obvious that one is by birth next in which way does the constitution protect the wealth of individuals in Kenya? In which way does the constitution protect the wealth of individuals in Kenya? And uh, the answer is it guarantees the right to own 
property number nine apart from nandi name two other african communities that resisted the establishment of colonial rule in kenya we have these other communities that resisted the the establishment of colonial rule we have bukusu we have somali we have agriyama agriyama is part of the is part of the the coast of bantu the minjikenda eh, is the subtribes of minjikenda is the tribes of a subtribe of uh coast of bantu eh, this question is very common you might find it in your exam then question number nine from we have we have answered that question that was the question number nine which was asking uh, other community that resistant and the establishment of the rule the colonial rule in kenya uh, if there is any other community that resisted in Kenya, you can write it in the comment section. And uh, people who are watching this video will see that and they will also comment. Uh, we have question number 10. Highlight one way in which colonial land policies promoted settler farming in Kenya. Highlight one way in which colonial land policies promoted settler farming in Kenya. Number one, setting aside land for settlers in Highland. Remember the colonial, the colonial government set aside land for settlers so that it could encourage them to come to do farming in Kenya. Number two, creating African reserves to give room for settlers to take land. Remember when uh, they came here in Kenya, uh, African were, were taken to reserves. Eh? They were taken to the, to the reserves so that uh, the colonial uh, settlers, eh? white settlers, uh, could practice farming. And that is one of the way of encouraging or one of the way uh, to promote settler farming in Kenya. We have the question number 11. Name two African nationalists. National, national, nationalistic. Name two African nationalist political parties that attended Lancaster House conferences. Nationalists. Name two African nationalists political parties that attended Lancaster House conferences. We have number one, Kenya African Union. That is one of the political parties that attended Lancaster House. Uh, then we have this other one, Kenya African Democratic Union. Then we have the last one, African People's Party. Those are the political parties that attended Lancaster House. We have the uh, question number 12. Give the main reason why Daniel Arab Moy banned ethnic organizations in 1979. This was to promote 